Good news, there is real 4000 nit HDR content on YouTube for you to watch. Thank you, Jennifer Gallo, for making this possible. Now, I know you have a lot of questions, so let's hit the three big ones. First, how do I know it's 4000 nits? Well, that's easy. I happen to have the Sony Reference Monitor 3110 designed specifically to measure 4000 nits. The second question we're going to answer is, why is this so great for a TV reviewer like me? Third, and most importantly, how is this relevant to you as a TV buyer who is happening to consider paying a lot of money for a super bright TV like the LG G4 or the Sony Bravia 9, both of which are on sale at Crutchfield, today's sponsor. Father's Day is just around the corner and there's no better place to find the perfect gift than Crutchfield. I am so excited to partner with Crutchfield to help you find that perfect Father's Day deal. Check it out, they've created an easy to use gift guide featuring their top 20 giftable items. It's never been easier to find the perfect present for dad. Scrolling through these items, if someone was to give me a Father's Day gift, it would definitely be this highly regarded Sonos Aero 100 wireless speaker because I would want it to be part of their amazing Sonos Arc soundbar bundle. Two Aero 100 speakers, the Arc soundbar, and a subwoofer. You know what the best thing about shopping on the Crutchfield website is? It's their easy to use product filters and informative articles. For example, you want to get a large TV, but how large? Well, let's check out this article on TV sizes. You're about nine feet away from your TV and voila, you want a 98 inch TV. A quick search and look at this. I definitely go for the Samsung DU9000 for under $4,000. So don't miss out on these Crutchfield Father's Day deals. I've linked my favorite products in the video description below to help you upgrade your home theater this summer. In answering the first question, why is it important to know if something is truly 4,000 nits or 2,000 nits for that matter? It's because of lies, my friends, or maybe just incompetence. When you buy a movie specifically because you think it's super bright to show off your amazing new Sony Bravia 9 or a Hisense U9N or even 2024 TCL QM8, I need to know if a studio is being truthful when they say a movie is 4,000 nits. You're putting in content that you think, boom, it's going to be 4,000 nits. So you can say to your friends, hey, this 4,000 nit movie looks amazing on my TV. Check it out. You trust that the information on this disc is correct, right? Aquaman HDR10 metadata on this disc shows the content maximum light level is 3,241 nits. That's pretty specific, right? It's got to be the truth. Let's confirm to see if this is even close. The Sony 3110 has this awesome waveform, which measures the exact luminance of the signal in real time, frame by frame. Each line from 600 to 1500 to 4000 nits to 10,000 nits, basically doubling the brightness each time you make that jump. And this is why studios use a reference monitor to know that when they put out a movie or they finish coloring it or grading it, this is the brightness they want you to see. But let's examine some of the brightest scenes in this movie since the disc claims that the content maximum light level is over 3000 nits. And check it out, utter disappointment. Going through the various bright scenes that I thought were almost 4000 nits, not even close, literally less than half the brightness. Clearly hard capped at around 1500 nits, ouch. And sadly, this scene from Pan is now dead to me no mass, it simply is not bright enough for today's TV. How about another 4000 nit classic, Mad Max Fury Road? Is its claimed 4000 nits an urban myth? Let's see. In this explosive dust storm scene, flashing lightning and explosions, indeed, the white light, bam, almost 4000 nits. I'm satisfied. This movie passed the test. But if you notice, right, when does it hit almost 4000 nits? Bright light, lightning. So clearly white is the easiest color to hit 4000 nits because as you get brighter and brighter, the TV's ability to show color luminance starts to drop off. But are there any HDR movies with 4000 nit content that's extended, which would push any TV to the breaking point? Yes, that movie is Alpha and it was produced by Columbia, released of course by Sony Pictures. That's a good sign. And bingo, we have a winner. Check out these extended scenes around the sun, bright yellow here, or an extended sunrise there. This, my friends, is legit. Bright with a touch of color and extended beyond just a flash. Look again at the scene from Alpha. You have dark shadow and bright sun, just like in real life. You're almost squinting. That's what I mean by high dynamic range. Dark shadow in one area, bright light in the other. 
That's reality, and that's what I love about HDR content. Crazier still, this movie was released in 2018, way before the Sony 3110 was born. Very impressive, Sony. Very impressive. But where else can you find 4,000 nit content beyond these two movies? You want a bit more of that content, right? You want extended scenes, maybe an hour's worth of content. 4,000 nits, scene after scene, to show off your brand new super bright TV. How about on YouTube? For free. Yes, it's Jennifer Gala's HDR Super Channel that delivers the goods. When her title says 4,000 nits, my friends, it is 4,000 nits. Check it out. Now that we finally have legitimate 4,000 nit content to play with, why is that important to me as a TV reviewer? As a TV reviewer, HDR content is very important to me because it's what pushes TVs to their limit, to adopt new technologies. Because had we not had HDR in I don't know, 2015, 2016, let's say we stopped in 2014 with SDR, TVs today would look almost exactly the same as the TVs back in 2014. But because of HDR, because of BT2020, extended color, extended dynamic range, suddenly your TVs need the latest and greatest technology to get better, to accurately show 4,000 nit content. I need to know if your newest TV has the capability to accurately show 4,000 nit content the way the creator intended. For example, if a less bright TV is not capable of 4,000 nit, but only able to show 1,500 nits peak brightness, what does it do with Jennifer Gala's 4,000 nit content? Well, one of two things. Either it dims down the whole image to show you all the specular details, right? All the details are there, but slightly dim, like the Samsung Q900D. Or it tries to hit that maximum brightness, unfortunately clipping all those details. So you see bright white. Now, many TVs will go to what Samsung is doing, which is dim it down a little bit to show you all the details because it looks more natural. Which takes us to the third question, why this is important to you as a TV buyer, as a consumer. As studios begin to put up more and more 4,000 nit TVs outside of just Mad Max and Alpha, thank you Sony for making this more likely with the 3110, we now have content on YouTube, thanks to Jennifer, that we can test and for you to show off your own TVs. Most importantly, you can watch it now to see, hey, is my TV clipping? Is it tone mapping? All these things are now available for you. And what about you? What do you think about the misrepresentations about brightness on movies like this? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, stop the FOMO.